Hello, welcome to the channel and welcome back to Resurrect Autos HQ. Today, guys, we're continuing with Dave's Ford Fiesta Vignali timing belt water pump service. Um, yeah, done a lot of videos on this, um, but we have to keep going to get it done. The trouble is, I've come across a bit of an issue um, and we have to go backwards to go forwards now. Um, I've come in here nice and early this morning. It's about half eight now, but I was here at seven o'clock um, and I just wanted to check something on the car when it comes to the timing. And I think we've got a small problem, not a big problem. Um, it, it seems like it's a bit of a small problem, but there's a bit more time. I have to take it apart and we have to go back to basics and we got, we've got to start again when it comes to this, um, yeah, with this timing belt. But it is what it is. Someone messaged me last night and said, Mark, I don't think you actually timed or pinned the fuel pump. Now, in yesterday's video, I was showing you some sort of cog and I thought, I just wondered what it was. I thought, you know, I didn't know what, I'm quite sure what it was. And that apparently is the fuel pump and it's, the, it's connected to the timing belt. So it runs in the fuel pump, pumps in time with the actual engine, if you know what I mean. Um, the, top, the, the top of the engine, all lined and pinned. The bottom, all lined and pinned, hasn't moved. But coming in this morning, taking off the cover. Um, yeah, let me show you what I found. So let's get into it and let's do this. So yeah, like I said, guys, I come in here nice and early to check this because someone uh, did message me about it and I, I really appreciate that. Um, it's It does help. So yeah, let me show you what I've found. So I've taken off the covers on the top here and you can see I turned over the engine um, at the bottom with that bolt, yeah, um, and I turned it over so it, it timed the actual top thing up there, you can see I've pinned it and my mark there is where it should be. It lines up exactly where it should be. Um, let me show you the bottom. Again, the bottom all pinned up and it's timed exactly where it should be. So I know that the bottom, the top and bottom hasn't moved and it is, and it is timed up. The trouble is, is that you, it's going to be really hard to see, but down there, let me try and get there. So that there is, will it focus, will it focus, 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 focus. So that one there that I'm pointing to down there where the light is, yeah, in there, that's the fuel, um, that's the fuel pump. Uh, and it's connected to the back the belt. Now, the trouble is, I can already see that the where the pin goes on the side there, it's not lined up. It's definitely not lined up. It's about, I'd say, one, maybe two uh, teeth around um, in the, the the wrong the wrong position. So. <sighs> Unfortunately, it is what it is. It's got to be done. It's got to be taken all off, completely removed again. Um, and then we're going to have to, um, yeah, see <laughs> if we can do this. I think it's going to be pretty easy because of, obviously we've already done this. Um, it, it, it don't take long to remove. I know the procedure. I haven't got to take as much off um, as in like the top um, and that sort of stuff. I didn't put the starter motor in yet. That's not connected. So we can still lock it up um, with the on, on the actual flywheel. So, yeah, it, it, it is what it is, guys. We, I've just got to sort of, you know, you just got to, sometimes you just got to put your hands up and go, yeah, no, I made a mistake. Or, um, you know, we've got to go backwards to go forward. That, that's all it is, really. So, yeah, but it's luckily, like, I haven't, Sort of put it all back together and try to turn turn the. In I'm not quite sure what it it would do, but I think it would have been. There, there wouldn't have been any 
um, fuel uh, going to the correct uh, injectors at the right time, if you know what I mean. Um, and it's just, yeah, it, it it makes sense now. It really does make sense um, where where that where that cog is, and it, it should be um, sort of pinned and lined where it should be in place. So yeah, I'll have to go to um, I'll go over to Ford. I've already spoke to Ford's main dealer. And they've said that they've got another um, lower uh, crank uh, bolt. So that's, I could just replace that, for, to whip that one out um, and then get a new one and replace that. That's not a problem. That's not the issue. Um, it's just at the minute, it's just a little bit of time it's going to take to strip it down. So let's stop waffling. Let's crack on with this. I'll set you up on the tripod and let's take it apart again. <laughs> let's do this. Right, okay, so guys, we're back <laughs> to the way it was from yesterday. So there you go. Um, so what I'm talking about is that you're supposed to put a pin in there and, and, and pin that as well. Um, and it, you can see because, let me try and get you in there. So can you, can you see that, that, little, that little gap there? That should be a little bit higher, and then behind it, let me just see if I, if I can show you the, the hole. But basically behind, behind in there, in there there's a hole. So definitely that is in the wrong position. Um, that, that, that there, let me just get you in a bit more. This here should be a little bit higher so that a pin can go through the back. It's basically where that pin, that plate is there. That's where the pin should sit. So this is lower, so that's got to come up. Um, so yeah, not a massive good deal, I've got to be honest. What I'll do is just undo the tensioner there, um, let the tension off, um, twist that around, pin it up, put a pin in there, put the belt back on, put the tension back on, and that's it. That's basically all it is, because the lower pin is in place. You can see it down there, so that's locked. The top pin is in place, it's locked there. That hasn't moved. I've checked the actual uh, flywheel, that hasn't moved. So, yeah, you know, all I've done, really, was I spun the engine over. When I put it all back together, I put the, the lower uh, crank pulley bolt done up. So all I did, was turn it over by hand. I haven't tried to start it. I haven't done none of that. So, in theory, um, this should work. Fingers crossed that that is going to be all right um, when we turn it over by the key. But um, yeah, that's that's my theory. Hopefully, that that kind of works. Um, we'll we'll go from there. So, yeah. The other thing, guys, before I set you back up, I've just got to let you know uh, I have actually won another project they actually let me have it uh, i won this car um for 1200 pound this car <laughs> i won for um and I, their reserve was like 2200 so i thought there's no way they are gonna let me have that car for <laughs> for 1200 quid plus fees um no way they come back to me today 
Um, and basically said, yeah, and let me have it. I can't believe they've let me have it for that money. But it's a great little car. Um, I haven't done one of these before. So it's going to be a, a, a something different for you guys to watch. Something different for me to do. Um, and let's just see how it goes. Picking it up on Thursday. Um, so not quite sure when I'm going to put it out. But I will put a, a picture on my Instagram and Fred's account. Just so you guys can see the new projects that are coming up. So that's two coming up this week, and I've still got to get some more, really, so I've got to bid on some more cars. I'm always bidding on cars, but they just seem to go up too much um, at, when it comes to the auction uh, time, you know? So it is what it is. So, yeah, let's get cracking. Let's get this sorted and put it all back together. But I'll, I'll do that first, and then I'll come back and I'll show you what I've done, and then we'll put it all back together and then go from there. So, <laughs> yeah, let's do this. Right, okay, so guys, let me show you what I've done. Um, so you can see, is it going to focus? It's not going to focus, is it? Let's go there. So you can see I've put a pin uh, where it should be now. Right, it's right down there. And it goes in that hole just there. So, yeah. It was about, I think it was about two teeth out, that was. So I managed to turn it around um, without taking the whole belt off. Uh, slackened this, well, I didn't slacken it off. I just turned it with a, a socket. Turned it up until it lined up. Um, yeah. Like, if um, it, it can't, it, it, wasn't, it couldn't have been that far off. It, if, if anything... You know, it was close to where it should be, um, because I didn't, I didn't, it didn't move when I when I saw it, and it's pretty tight. That is to move that cog, it's not, it's not like free spinning. It don't spin freely, re like really easy. You've really got to sort of turn it um, and put a little bit of pressure on that. So I knew that it didn't turn that much. Um, so yeah, I think we are there. So now we can. <laughs> Now we can. I'm happy that that's all lined and timed and where it should be. I just need to go off to the main dealers quickly, grab um, one of the bolts for the um, lower pulley, um, for the crank pulley. Grab one of those bolts. I think they're like nine quid, 20, ten quid. I can't remember what he said now. I think it's plus fat, so maybe fourteen quid, fifteen quid. But um, yeah, definitely worth changing. I don't want to risk sort of renewing the new one, the old one, because it's just. It's not worth the risk, really. So let me go off and get that. When I come back, I'll set you up. Um, and it's just a case of, you know, putting this all back together and see how far we get today. Hopefully, we get it all done today. But, you know, you never know. Uh, I have dropped the oil on this. I unplugged it last night and let it drain overnight. So that's all out. But we have got to do an engine flush in this. So we'll put that in first, which is this one here. Oh. Uh, yeah, engine flush. So we'll chuck that in. This actually takes the oil in this. Actually takes three point three point eight liters of oil. So we'll put in three point eight liters of this. Uh, let it run. I think you've got to do the like, instructions. We've got to let it run for an hour or something, something on there. You've got to read the instructions on the back. Um, 
And uh, yeah, we'll do that first and then and then we'll chuck in the new oil after that once it's got a good flush through. It's worth doing an oil flush. It's, it's nice because it just, you know, it pushes out any crap and build up that's in the car and the engine itself. So it's worth doing whilst we've got, we've got at this point. So yeah, um, but yeah, happy now guys. <laughs> very, very happy. And you can see it's all been pinned up um, where it should be, all timed. So, yeah, let me go off, get the bolt, come back, and we'll get cracking. Let's do this. Right, okay, guys, making some great progress now. Um, just just putting everything back together, really, just sort of doing the process. <clears throat> it's really amazing that, because <clears throat> what I tend to do is that when I undo bolts and take off nuts and stuff like that, I normally put them in the place, in the direction where they go. So let's just say um, I undone this one here, for instance, yeah, this bolt here, took it off, <clears throat> and I put it here right opposite yeah as you're putting things back together it's, it's really amazing to go like right i put that so i put this pipe back in place and then go right where's the bolt for that oh yeah it's up there and then put it in place so everything seems to sort of just roll as it is um and i'm just sort of you know going through the motions putting everything back together putting everything back on i have still got a bleed um the uh clutch you can see the bottle is down there um <clears throat> i'm gonna see if i can do it on my own everything's been put back down here as well you can see all the uh the connections there um the cables it's all been put back together uh and bolted back up everything from underneath is done uh, i've put this drive shaft in <clears throat> there and pushed it uh, in home so that's this right position i've just got to get it back up into the hub and pull that back on, which won't take long. Um, excuse me, just had a drink. We've still got to get the coolant in as well. So and that's my next stage is to get the coolant back in place. 
um, and see how that goes. Make sure we've got no leaks, but I very much doubt if we have. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, but we are running out of <laughs> bits and pieces that I took off the car. This is all just for the air intake now. Battery tray, air box, air intake, air intake, air, battery. So, yeah, it, there's no bolts or nuts, nothing left over. So it's going really, really well. And um, I'm just going to keep going. Let's just see how far we get um, as well. Hopefully, we can turn that key today. But let's just see <coughs> how it goes. But, uh, yeah, I'm really happy with the way it's gone so far. And uh, everything's been just gone back to how it should. So that's really, really good news. So let's keep going. Um, let's do the coolant. Let's get the battery back in place. Uh, hopefully... Oh, yeah, I suppose I could do it. I could put the battery back in place and then um, it's just a case of uh, I can then keep out the air box and reach down there to, to do the, um, the, the uh, bleed the clutch. But I'll probably need help for that, I've got to be honest. A bit easier with, with help. So, um, but yeah, let's um, carry on. Let's keep going and let's, uh, yeah, let's do this.
Right, okay, so guys, it is more or less all put back together apart from the air box here, just so that I've got access to the clutch, bleeding the clutch over here with the bottle. Um, it's pretty difficult on your own, um, but let me show you. <laughs> let me show you what has happened. So, I have bled the clutch um, and it feels really nice. But I just want to, um, you know, do it a bit more, see if there's any air in the system and stuff like that. So, let me show you. So, there we go. Sounds weird because of the turbo and that air system uh, over there, but... Yeah. Clutch feels nice actually. We have got some um, engine management light on and stuff like that, but I think that's just because of the fact that, you know, I've had everything unplugged and stuff like that, but here we go. Running and ticking over, lovely. So it was a good job, really, it was a good job that I took it, I retook it apart and done that fuel um, pump on that side. You can hear that, it's the turbo. So yeah, um, it's probably pulling in too much air for the engine at the minute, but yeah, it runs really, really nice. So let me carry on, put all the air box and system back in, put all the pipes back on, get the coolant up to where it should be, make sure the clutch is all right, put the wheels on, and just basically finish the whole car off. Um, probably do it within sort of 45 minutes to an hour. So let's turn it off. Let's keep going, because we're nearly there. <laughs> Let's do this. Right, okay, guys, I can see why Dave don't like this light. Look at the difference in that light there. It looks so bad, doesn't it? So I think we'll have to find him one uh, and replace it. They're not cheap, these LED ones, but it just looks rubbish, doesn't it? Like, it's just, I don't know. Really strange, orange, orangey LED, rather than the, like the pure white sort of LED, do you know what I mean? But, yeah. Anyway, right, so, that flush, oil flush, has now had 10 minutes uh, running like that. Um, it's all been put back together, so all the air box, everything. I've even um, wiped the codes as well. Connect the computer up, uh, wipe the codes. There's nothing coming up on the dash, no engine management light. Um, so, yeah, it's just a case of, uh, we'll stop it now. Like that. We'll drain that flush out and then we'll fill it back up with some nice fresh decent oil what should be in there um and then you know that's had a nice flush then engine flush uh, just one more thing that dave asked me to do so let's crack on with that i'll set you up let's get that oil out let's top up with the good stuff get it running for a bit get this wheel arch in place get that wheel on <sighs> And that's kind of it, really. Just 
have a, have a wipe up where my hands have been and stuff like that. So I just want to wipe his car over and give it a clean. But um, yeah, so far, so good. It's just, and you know, this is why I always, always, I'm always trying to think ahead and trying to think of what's going to happen and what's what to do next. And it was only because um, someone did message me and said, I think that 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 um, fuel um, fuel pump should be timed uh, on a pin as well. Uh, and it, obviously, it was ac- absolutely correct because it was out a little bit. Uh, it did move, um, but I'm glad that I went backwards to go forwards uh, and get this done for Dave today. So let's keep going. I haven't got much time, I've got to be honest, because I need to get this video out tonight. Uh, so let's just see how far we get. Hopefully, I'll get it all finished, get it back on the floor, on its wheels, done. So let me set you up for the last bit. Let's keep going. Let's do this. Right, okay, guys, we are done. Apart from a quick check, because what I'm doing, I'm, I'm, I've put the fresh oil in now. I'm just going to let it run around the system, go into the, um, the oil filter, just get, go around where it should be, turn it off, then check the level. Uh, but apart from that, we are completely done with Dave's car. Um, stuck it into gear as well. Goes backwards, goes forwards. Yeah, all the gears work, so... I think we're going to call that a success. Um, now Dave can come and pick up his car, ready to get back to work um, after he comes back from his holidays. Um, so yeah, that's it. We are done. Right, okay. That is going to be the end of today's video and the end of Dave's Vignali. We are finished. Timing belt done, water pump done, service done, clutch done. <laughs> So much on this car has been done over the last few days. Uh, but finally, we've got there. And yeah, tomorrow we can jump on another project. Probably going to jump on Mark's project tomorrow. His car from his wife. That one there. We're going to jump on that one um, and get cracking with this. I've ordered some parts. Parts have come in. And I've got to go and get some parts from Gala's as well tomorrow. But we can crack on with this tomorrow now. Now, Dave's car is completely <laughs> done. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to drop me a comment. Uh, leave the video a thumbs up, really appreciate that. And I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next one. Take care, see you soon.